my preferred setup. Three-way setup, got the swivel. Again, I got another Mad Catter HD on here, 10 out. Pretty big, they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be, but not bad, not bad. Right out of the package, a little interesting. You can see some, some marks all over them. Looks like it wraps around. So I'm gonna assume all these battle scars on these hooks are factory. Very sharp though, I will give them that, very sharp. The cool thing is, I was able to catch some flathead candy. That's not one. Come on, where's one at? There we go. Right here, y'all. Pumpkin, whoa, pumpkin seeds. Almost too pretty to use for bait. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show y'all how I hook my live bait. And here's the lateral line. If you can't see it, there's the lateral line. I wanna stay right above that so he still has function. This allows him to still move his tail. As you can see, he can flop around and flathead. They like to attack head first. That's why I hook them on the tail. Some people hook them up here. It's all personal preference, really. Here he goes. Keep that one in shallow. Now these fish typically slam this live bait. If they don't slam it, what they'll do is they'll just slowly start swimming with it in their mouth. And if they want to do that, then that's when I go ahead and let them run with it. I should have got some sticks. Water's still just a tad cold, but I'll tell you what, I think, I think it's good enough for these flatheads. Here we go, y'all. First fish, I don't know what it is. Y'all want to stay out of the rock. It's a flat. It's a flat, y'all. First flat. Oh, there you go. The flatheads are here. Little baby. They are out here. First flathead, solid little eater. I'm gonna let him go though. But there it is, that was off the live bait. First fish, flathead, they're out here. Let's catch some more. It's on a bottom rig too. Uh, one thing I like about this spot, and in any flathead spot I fish, and I mentioned it before, is the, the rocks. There's a bunch of big rocks down there mixed in with little rocks um, and even gravel. So this is a good uh, hunting ground. This is a good, uh, good spawning area. I've got a creek. It's actually a river split, but I call it a creek because it, it, it definitely slows down the flow of the river here. But I got a creek coming in through here, feeding out into the main river. And again, just these rocks, they're all in here. Right on the outskirts, you can see the ripples up there. There's rocks up there. I mean, this spot is just rocks, rocks, rocks. Now, if you're fishing somewhere else and you don't have access to all this cool geography with all these rocks, you know, rock ledges leading down into the water, um, you know, because that's also going to give you eddies and, and, and undercuts. Not more great spots for flatheads. But if you have like mud banks and stuff, uh, fish the roots, fish the roots of trees tree roots, bank undercuts, um, any single piece of standing structure. I mean, basic catfish rules apply, but these flathead are very structure oriented. Now, my favorite time to fish for flathead is at night and right before sunset. So I got here at like 4.40, almost five o'clock. It'll probably be light until 8.30. That's when the sun will start going down. And that's probably when we'll start seeing a little more action. All right, y'all. Let's get them. Another quick little bit of advice. The later it gets, the shallower these fish move in. So keeping some shallow while you're fishing, good idea. Later in the day, they'll be moving in a lot closer. There we go. There we go. That's all the fresh cut, y'all. Keep running with it. There you go. Oh. 
on there. He's on there, y'all. Oh, this is a big fish. Tonight. All right, y'all. My first blue out of this spot. Hell yeah. Check him out. Go figure. He was on that fresh cut. Let's get a weight on him real quick. Twenty-five knot. bait and everything. There he goes. All by himself. Alright, cool. rocks on the way up. He definitely did. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow, he went airborne on that bike. There we go. Another nice corner of the mouth set. Alright. Alright y'all, my second blue ever in this spot, I'm not going to weigh this one, it's probably 15-16 pounds, covered in leeches though, covered in leeches, when you see that, especially on the bottom of their fins, right there, you can see my finger, covered in leeches, it usually means they're holding tight, holding tight to the bottom, holding towards structure, but he actually hit on the three-way setup and unfortunately he hit quite a few rocks on the way in but he'll be alright he's a catfish not bad not bad yo ah! oh I did not mean to drop him Head number two, cut bait on that head. 
Like I said, clean fish, no leeches. y'all unfortunately it's time for me to go of course you know right when the bite's hot go figure it happens but whatever there'll be other days i can come out here plus water's still pretty cold it needs to heat up about another five degrees for these flathead to become really active um, that's when it gets fun that's when it gets fun that's when you stock up on that live bait big time bring a bring a cooler of sunfish out here just just have a blast it's real fun but um stay tuned stick around at the end of this video i have a bunch of key points listed to set you up on some flatheads here out the potomac river all right y'all that hook set signing out get them